Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple is the lowest number that is a multiple of two or more given numbers. Let's look at question one as an example. What is the LCM of four and five? LCM is short for lowest common multiple. The solution, the multiples of 4 are those numbers there, that's just the beginning of the 4 times tables, finishing at 4 times 6, 4 6 is a 24. These are some of the multiples of 5. If we notice here, see the number 20 there, that is the lowest number that occurs in each of those groups. So the LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. And what that means is this is the lowest number that 4 and 5 will divide into. Question 2. What is the LCM of 10 and 12? Solution. The multiples of 10 are those numbers. The multiples of 12, we have these numbers here. We don't have to go all the way. We just do enough so that we get a common number that is the lowest one. So the LCM of 10 and 12 is 60. That is the lowest number occurring in each of those groups. It's the, it has to be the same number. right? It has to be the same number. That means that 60 is the lowest number that 10 and 12 will divide into evenly. Question 3. Find the LCM of 4, 6 and 8. So we can also have three numbers. The multiples of 4 are those numbers. Multiples of 6 and the multiples of 8. So the LCM of 4, 6 and 8 is 24. Because we have 24 here. 24 here and 24 here. So it's the lowest number that occurs in all of the groups. It has to be the same number, the same one. So 24 is the lowest number that 4, 6 and 8 will divide into. Question 4, find the LCM of 2, 3, 4 and 6. So you can also use 4 numbers. The multiples of 2 are here. Multiples of 3, multiples of 4, multiples of 6. And look what we have here. That's the lowest number that occurs in all four lists. So the LCM of 2, 3, 4 and 6 is 12. It is the lowest number that 2, 3, 4 and 6 will divide into evenly. Now here we have two questions and we're going to see how the LCM or the lowest common multiple can be used to solve some everyday problems. Three friends play snooker at regular intervals at the same club. Harry plays every third day, Tom plays every fourth day and Peter plays every sixth day. If they all play snooker on the first day of May when is the next day that they will all play together? So this is a classic example where we can use the lowest common multiple. So the multiples of 3 we have here, of course we here we have the third day. The multiples of 4 are there because of the fourth day. And the multiples of 6 are here because of the sixth day. Now we can see we have 12, 12, and 12. That is the lowest number that it occurs in each of the groups. Since the LCM is 12, they will all play together 12 days later on the 13th of May. So remember they played on the 1st of May, so you add 12 days to this, so it's 12 days after this date, so that has to be the 13th of May. Question 6. Three friends play golf at regular intervals at the same club. 
Sid plays every fourth day, Tom plays every fifth day, and Bill plays every tenth day. If they all play golf on the third day of June, when is the next day that they will all play together? Here are the multiples of four because of the fourth day, the multiples of five because of the fifth day, and the multiples of ten because of the tenth day. Now if we look carefully at the list, look what we have here. 20 is the lowest number that occurs in each of the lists. Since the LCM is 20, they will all play together 20 days later on the 23rd of June. So just add 20 to this number and that gives you the 23rd of June. So this video has introduced us to the idea of the lowest common multiple and we've seen two examples how this can be used in everyday life.